The number nine bragging rights are held by Hales Owen going into this afternoon's game after a thrilling end-to-end 4-3 win at Amblecote back in September. Paul Smith's side played for the first time in 2024 with their game on New Year's Day against Alf Church postponed. 3,150 tickets sold for today's game, near 800 of those for the Stourbridge fans, and the Yelts make three changes from the Boxing Day loss against Telford. New signing Tom Taylor slots in at the back for Rob Evans. Kieran Donnelly makes a start in midfield, whilst Miracle Locker 4 returns up top alongside Richard Gregory. stands in the centre circle ready to get things on the way in the second number nine derby of the season also in hold it at the moment can they claim six points off Stourbridge this season Taylor with his first clearance and forward headed away Corner for Stourbridge played in towards the near post and flicked wide as well Defending for the Yelts to do here as the ball drops nicely towards Flint. Might get the strike away on his left into the hands of Platt. Corner played in towards the box. Flicked away, might drop out. Richard Gregory blocked away inside the box. Back out towards Gregory again, though. Winter laid down nicely. Hayward might be through. Ford will try and shield the ball away. Hayward couldn't keep the ball away. Just a goal kick, though. Thrown again towards the head of Rhys King, drops out towards the edge of the box and fired over the bar by Richards. High and away, that one's in the car park. Daniels with a cross in towards the box, falls nicely towards Flint and Platt had to get out there quickly. Thrown towards Hayward, back down again. Parker with the ball in towards the box, flicked on nicely by Donnelly, away for a corner over the top of the free kick, tries through the middle! Charlie Price got down well. The ball just took the sting out of the shot for Richard Gregory. Taylor to Parker. As well, he looks for the long ball through the middle, might find the pass as well, flicks down, Ryan Winters there! It's in! And Hales Owen have the lead on half-time! It may or may not go down as an own goal as Brad Bood was making his way in. Ryan Winter will claim it as he runs away in celebration. And just before the break, Hales Owen take the opening goal. response at the start of the second half squared across shot comes in from King blocked away by Donnelly and cleared away this boy's looking to move forward shrugged off Reese King but it's set through towards Fletcher Platt came out well Not for the first time this afternoon Dan Platt's had to be called into action Donnelly 
twisting out on the far side. Picked up well, and Hales Owen have the opportunity to attack forward with Holmes. Played across to Gregory, might drop nicely. Miracle Locker for! Just couldn't quite find the target. Ford back towards Richards. Long ball in towards the penalty area. Winter couldn't get the head on, but it's into the hands of Platt anyway. Ryan Winter beaten in the air. Holmes out wide, played down towards Parker, keeps himself on side, plays into the box, it's squared across, might bounce back for Okafor, he didn't know much about it. Stanbridge managed to clear away again. Parker heads forward, down towards the path of Holmes, further out towards the run of Elliott's right footed cross into the box, into the hands of Charlie Price again. Towards corner towards the back post, not dealt with fully. It's back out towards the edge of the box, headed away. The strike comes in from Jack Fletcher. Also, in luck to clear, and Holmes, bit of a misclearance, but he can chase on to the end of this one. Still going. Jack Holmes evades a challenge, still running through. Makes his way up towards the edge of the penalty area, played across. Falls out nicely down towards top. Parker, surely a penalty it is. Todd Parker brought down in the box and Hales Owen right at the end of the game. Just as six minutes were added on. Miracle Okafor to make it two, saved by Charlie Price. And cleared away. Can you believe it? Corner floated in, headed on by Okafor. Quite find the target again, and Hale Zone will have to hold on. Doing the best they can, Hale Zone, to try and make it to Jack Holmes through towards the edge of the box. Drags his strike, it just takes a deflection on the way through. Still defending for Hale Zone to do. Holmes has to clear away. Surely there's no time left. There is no time left. Six points against Stalbridge for Hale Zone. A 1-0 victory at home. Whether it goes down to Ryan Winter or not, I don't think it matters to the supporters here at the Grove. Hales Owen with the win. Come on! Pretty much sellout crowd at the Grove this evening. Look at what it means. What a way to start the new year for Hales Owen. Not quite the 4-3 entertaining end-to-end -end that we had at the War Memorial Ground, but a win is a win just the same. Just listen to the noise.